Shutter Island. Martin Scorsese, my favorite director. Leonardo DiCaprio, my favorite actor. Together, again, they starred in The Aviator, Gangs of New York, and The Departed. Three amazing films. The Departed is my number three favorite movie of all time. So is there any reason not to be excited for this movie? No. This movie's supposed to come out in October. People are saying because they pushed back because it wasn't good enough. No. They pushed back because of advertising. Uh, they had spent so much money advertising other Paramount movies. But yes. It has arrived. So it started off with strong reviews, but now the reviews are very love-hate. And I am with the lovers without a doubt. This movie was fan-freaking-tastic. It's not pitch perfect. It's not one of my favorite Scorsese movies. Now here are my top five Scorsese movies, just to give you a sense of what I like about them. And I love every one of his movies. So, and this doesn't include his documentaries or anything. But five is, um... Taxi Driver. I love Taxi Driver. It is an awesome movie. Robert Taylor is awesome. Four Aviator, Three Casino, Two Goodfellas, and One The Departed. So the trailer for this movie looked amazing. I love psychological thrillers. I was going to read the book when I heard this movie was going to be made, but I didn't want to spoil it because I knew it was one of those movies you don't want to ruin the ending. The everything to this movie, it, the, the art direction, the editing, the set direction, everything from the score. The score is a little overwhelming at first, but it really captures your mind and perfectly sets the mood to this movie from the moment it starts. This movie, it does a fantastic job of balancing gothic horror and suspense and mystery, everything you need to make a fantastic thriller. Mark Scorsese flexes every filmmaking muscle he has to make this movie. You can tell how much fun he had with it. Now, uh, he does such a fantastic job technically, but as far as acting, if this does not get DiCaprio his well-deserved Oscar win, I mean, I, it's still very early in the year, there could be people who outshine him, but I definitely think, as of this moment, he definitely deserves to win, because they've only nominated him three times. He should have been nominated a lot more than that. That's the only thing I'd give him to the Golden Globes, they nominate him a lot more. He didn't get nominated for Titanic or The Departed. It's crazy. I really think a lot of people that didn't like this movie, just that they, they're not used to Scorsese doing movies like this, but he shows he's a master of every genre he could possibly work in. He going from crime thriller to psychological thriller, he works it so well. There are parts in this movie where you're so indulged when you you could go to the bathroom and you you can't stop thinking about all these characters because there's so much thrown at you and you take it in. It doesn't really give you much time to breathe, but I kind of like about that because you're figuring all these things at the end, by the end, the ending is so satisfying. It really, it does mess with your mind. It gets inside of your mind um, through connecting with personal experiences or just showing the true horrors of things. One thing, it started out a little, I wouldn't say over the top, but I just didn't, I didn't think it very much worked, is when they first did his first dream sequence, that you see a lot in shows with him and his wife, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm pretty sure they show most of the parts or tell you what happens with his wife. And it's, it, at first, it just, I liked it, but I think it was too overwhelming to start out with, and they should have progressed, started off a little, and get worse and worse. But yet, it still really consumes you. His character consumes you. And when you find out these mysteries that are on this island, in, in the mind of every single character, you're completely out of it. You you don't understand what's hallucinations anymore, what's real, what's fact, what's a conspiracy, what's not, which character's bad, which character's good, who can you trust? If a film can make you question things like that, you know what it's achieved on at least a psychological level. So the technical parts of this movie are good, the visuals, everything just looks awesome. I mean, a couple gore problems, but I mean, still, I mean, he, I, I just think Scorsese is just such a awesome job of balancing it. People are saying that it didn't, because it, the first half started out very strong, which indeed it does, and the second half doesn't do justice to what the first half achieved. Now, while I agree with this on some level, I think most of that is the fact that the second half, the final twist, um, without giving too much away, it is very contradictory to everything that's set up in the first half. Now, I was going to call this a spoiler, but I really don't think it is much of a spoiler. I don't want to ruin anything. But, I mean, if you don't feel like even having a hint thrown at your way, just skip, um, for a while. But, anyway, this isn't going to give much away, but 
the ending, it's there's a good twist, a very well plotted twist, a very well set up twist. If you watch the rest of the movie, it does make sense, it does match up. I mean, you might need to see a second time, make sure every little detail matches up. But nonetheless, the only thing I don't like about that is the first half, this conspiracy, was plotted so well, written so well, set up perfectly, that you are so point play placed in that, that you believe every second of it, you're involved with it, that the last twist just turns it on its side. Now, I'm not going to give anything away without actually what happens, because, I mean, you can tell in the trailer that that's not what's all that's going on there. It's still, yes, it's somewhat of a conspiracy. But it does turn it on its side, and that part was so good that you feel bad that it was uh, not what you thought, because uh, by the end, you know, you it really is people playing with your minds, and I'm not going to talk anymore about that, so if you guys are um, we're good now. No more spoilering, kind of. Really, it's it's quite... It, it is a great movie. I mean, it, it is not true horror. Don't watch this movie think you're going to be scared. But, I mean, it will play with your mind, obviously. I really think that the, the reviews are deceiving. I don't think I've ever strongly disagreed so much with the critics. This movie is awesome. If you read the book, I don't know. I will go back and read it, but... I don't think you'll be disappointed if you were looking forward to this movie. It is everything a Scorsese fan could hope for. It is an awesome movie. It will play with your mind. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's definitely the best movie. The best movie I've seen in a long time. Uh, it, it could have been better. It's not pitch perfect. But still, I, I recommend you guys go see this movie. It is awesome.